So for today's video, I wanted to bring you guys a unboxing of a pair of sneakers that sneakerheads will never own. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals as well as this pair of mysterious sneakers right here, check the links in the description. But first I gotta give a big shout out to Alan Torres who actually emailed me and said, I love your videos, I'm a big fan. I own the Ultra Boost EQT Support Boost, Air Max 2017, the Alpha Bounce Beyond, in search for the most comfortable pair of shoe technology. The other day he came across the most comfortable pair of shoes that he never thought he would actually own and these are the shoes that he mentioned. So the reason why the video says that sneakerheads would not give these a try is because there's too much ego with sneakerheads for the most part. It seems like they would never give this brand a shot. So this is a pair of Crocs. From the box you can see it's called the Light Ride Pacer and I got a size nine men's which fits me perfectly. And these are the shoes and they're actually not terrible looking. I saw them and I'm like, whoa, they actually don't look that bad. Back to his email, he says, Crocs Social Suicide. Uh, Croc Pacer is only $60, which is a good price. And he says the new Light Ride Soul Croc put out is fire and it's actually finally a socially acceptable silhouette. Super wide foot friendly and will make very interesting video. There is no video reviews that he could find on these, so he wanted me to go ahead and check it out. So, so again, big shout out to Alan who actually mentioned this to me. And again, if you guys actually have video suggestions that you guys would like to see, like serious inquiries like this, hit me up on email and let me know like what you guys would like to see content wise because, because at the end of the day, I am creating content for YouTube that is sneaker related. And of course, comfort and technology is something that I'm really, really fond of. So when he mentioned this to me, $60, and then I saw the images and I was like, you know what, this isn't bad at all. This is actually better looking, in my opinion personally, than the Nike Roshi runs when they had their heyday of the Roshi run being the most comfortable shoe that uh, people rocked. So now it's on to Crocs. And I'm gonna be a 100 with you guys. This isn't my first pair of Crocs I've ever owned. I actually owned the flip flops before and I really liked them. They were comfortable. Back in the day, I wore them in Hawaii. I actually bought them in Hawaii when I was on vacation. So these are actually really decent looking, but the technology is what sold me on the shoe. So first of all, you can see the outsole and the midsole is made from the patented Crocs Lite material, which is actually really, really soft and react like in its own right. But Crocs have really cornered the market on that comfort, especially on like the medical field. I believe they're like antimicrobial as well. So that's like really important that you don't pick up all that extra crap when you're at the hospital on your sneakers. But, um, but this is actually uh, something else. So you have the Crocs light for the midsole, but then this is where they change things up. This little red button at the bottom says Crocs here. And this stuff is crazy, crazy comfortable. Like, I don't know if you can really see it. This is the light ride technology in the bottom and it's super, super squishy and it's soft. It's almost like Nike Lunar Lawn style, how they have it encased in this, but it'd be like Lunar Lawn encased in React. Like it's ridiculous. Maybe Nike, hint, hint, maybe Nike needs to send me some checks and create a Lunar Lawn React combo hybrid. That would be mind blowing to see how that turns out because I believe Lunar Lawn is softer than React. And uh, dude, maybe I just made Nike a bunch of money. Create that Nike follow the Crocs footsteps and I will be very happy. Um, inside the box, oh yeah, here it is. So they did have this little keychain thing, which is a smart little thing to do. This is kind of like what Boost does with the Boost Ball, but they never really gave that to anybody. They should have just created little Boost Balls that you could actually put in the Adidas boxes. Crocs did a really smart thing and did this. So they have this light ride by Crocs and then you can see the material and you can see how insanely comfortable and squishy this is. And it bounces right back. It's just really, really soft. If I had to compare this to any technology out there, it would probably be the closest thing was like the Zoom X, but it's a little bit more substantial feeling. I would say this is softer than React though, and this is definitely softer than Boost. I actually wore these to the beach. I had to clean them up after I got back because as soon as I got them, I actually wanted to try them on. As soon as I tried them on, I was blown away by how comfortable they actually were. Uh, the material is interesting. So you can see it has a really odd looking upper, and this is really a rubberized material. It was hard to tell at first if this was like a suede or like what type of material this was. It's actually a rubberized material. So this is water resistant for those actually wondering. I saw some reviews that said it wasn't, but, um, but this is actually rubberized, so this would be waterproof. The thing that's not waterproof is obviously the regular laces, the tongue because it has a mesh tongue, and then also the very, very small liner that it has around the collar of the shoe, just for that added little extra protection and comfort. Uh, for the shoe. So they did a smart thing. They kept it really minimal. You could see it's just a raw edge around the top 
and it doesn't cover down here, but this is all rubberized down here. I wore these with no socks on, so maybe the size 10 would be better if I was gonna rock these with socks all the time. Size nine actually works perfectly for me with no socks. And um, they were really, really comfortable. Now, it was like 95 degrees out that day when I wore these in the beach. And so the ventilation holes were like super big and you could feel the wind blowing through to your toes. So the ventilation in this was really, really good. I can't believe how incredibly comfortable they were and the fact that I was actually rocking a pair of Crocs that looked decent. My opinion, worth every penny of the $60 that these things are. And although it's kind of like a stigma because you're wearing a pair of Crocs and sneaker people don't do that, this is just one of those exceptions where it's like, I wish Crocs would have reached out and paid me for this promotion because I would have gladly picked this up uh, because I actually really like what they created. And I think that our market is just one that they have not tapped into yet. And maybe this is a segue over. Leave a comment, let me know, have you guys tried any Crocs ever, like in general, on your feet or not? I mean, you make fun of them and stuff, we all make fun of them, but it's good to know the competition and know what's available to people to try onto their feet. Um, if you have tried the Crocs, or more specifically, if you've tried these ones, leave a comment as well. And let me know if you've tried the Light Ride uh, Pacers. I was telling our friends about these when we were at the beach and she was like, yeah, I need to tell my dad about those because honestly, like he would probably really like those. And I was like, yeah, I mean, you might as well. This is a friend that she used to work at Nike and telling her dad about these. I mean, that would be maybe the normal market for something like this, but they've created something that's cool enough for um, people like myself. But I'm also an old man too. Maybe if you're in high school, this isn't the thing for you, but like I'm an old man and I have a kid. I've definitely earned the dad status and I'm walking to the beach carrying a thousand things in my arms like I can rock Crocs in that occasion right maybe not to a sneaker event but at the end of the day I like trying new things and I'm excited that Crocs actually released something dope and not a paid promotion this is just me exploring the options out there especially since people like you guys are out there suggesting them I appreciate y'all for sending me emails and tweets and everything else some of you guys might have reached out to me on Instagram Twitter DMs I never check I never check DMs on Instagram um, so email if you have something serious that you wanna to come to the table with. And my email address is in every single video for those people, especially business folks, trying to contact me. But that is uh, the pair of sneakers and pleasantly surprised, can't believe I say it. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, this is just one of those shoes I'm like, dang, like $60? It's kind of like a conversation starter in itself. Crocs owns that patent to the Crocs Lite and now they have this um, light ride material. Nike, please create a React Lunar Long hybrid combination I bet you guys anything 2019 will see that uh, happening. It would just, it would be amazing. But anyway, that's, that's what we have for the video. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and would like to see more of my content. Notification bell if you guys want to be notified of when my sneaker videos go live. At this time, if you guys want to click the screen, check out any of my other videos. And thank you guys for watching. Peace, guys.